good morning this is rishali in my last lecture we discuss about the part 1 in this video uh, that video we discuss about port a port b and port c of pic 18 microcontroller pin diagram now in this video we will discuss about the remaining ports that is port c port d and port e of pic 18 microcontroller pin diagram so let's see so as we discussed in last lecture this is a pin out connection or pin diagram of pic 18f452 so let's see the next ports so we discussed port c port d and port e here so port c having 8 pins port d having 8 pins and port e having 3 pins okay so as i discussed as per the pin diagram and every pin provide the multiple functions means they multiplexed with alternate functions so let's see right so see here here uh, we will discuss about port c so see here in this diagram so port c is a 8 bit wide means it has 8 pins so from that 8 pins four pins are shown here in this diagram in this uh, pin diagram and this port c work as a bidirectional ports and uh, the corresponding data direction register is tris c as we discussed bidirectional port means every pin work as a input as well as output when tris c this register equal to 0 the pin work as a input port and when tris c equal to 1 the pin work as a output port in this way now see here the port c pin that is rc0 rc1 rc2 rc3 these are the names of that particular pins now RC zero pin provide the two features. One is timer one oscillator and timer one clock pin. So they provides oscillator provides the frequency for each and every timers. So they provide this kind of features. Now next RC one. So RC one is also multiplexed with timer one oscillator feature plus CCP two module and RC two also CCP one. So basically see here. RC0 RC1 and RC2 these three pins are provide oscillator pro features and timer features when oscillators are used for performing a particular task at that time these pins are high when timers are used to calculate the execution of particular task at that time these pins is high otherwise low then RC1 and RC2 also provide CCP feature that is capture compare and pulse width modulation means all the signals related information means to fetch the signals convert these signals into the analog format and uh, also access those information so all these ccp features access uh, through this rc2 pins okay so at that time this pin is high now rc3 so rc3 pin multiplexed with two features one is sck and another one is scl so scl means serial clock c there are master devices and there are slaves devices like microcontroller is your master device and all the other attached components like timer counter uh, sd cards then bluetooth gps these all are the slave device so there is a proper communication between the master and slave device suppose slave device want particular information from the master master send those information to the slave and vice versa right means there was proper communication between this all the master and slave devices so for that communication purpose they required a clock signals particular time limit right means analog signals are there they send the information as per the clock signals so when proper communications are carried out between these devices at that time this serial clock pin is high otherwise low now next one is sck sck means serial clock output so the clock pulses which synchronize data transmission generated by the master when master send the information to the slaves there are actually multiple slave and only one master right so master gives the information to each and every slave as per their requirement so this serial clock output maintain the clock pulses between the data transmission of each and every slave so at that time this pin is high otherwise low now the next one is see here these are the remaining four pins of port c so rc4 rc5 rc6 and rc7 these are the namings of particular pin so let's see rc4 that is pin number 
they provide the two features SDI and SDA. So SDA means serial data. Okay. So line for the master and slave, they send and receive the data. Okay. That is serial data. Means serially data can be said, sent by using serial communication protocols. Bit by bit data can be transferred. That is serial data. Okay. So when this thing is occur, at that time SDA pin is high, otherwise low. And SDI means serial data in. So input signals on a device where data is received from another SPI device. So another SPI device means special peripheral interface. You can connect different devices or external devices to the system, right? You can connect different external devices like uh, there are there was uh, there was an external timer, then external oscillator, then also an external hard disk, external memory device. So you can connect this external device or special peripheral interface to your system. So the serial data in means they can access the information from the another SPI device. So this kind of thing is occur at that time this pin is high and on the opposite of that that is SDO. So pin number 24 that is RC5 they provide this feature SDO that is serial data out means output signals on device where data is sent to another SPI device. So SDI means data can be received from another ex SPI another external device and SDO means send data to the another SPI or external device that is data in and data out. So for that purpose this pins is high otherwise low. So that is RC5. Next RC6. So RC6 having two features uh, one feature that is transmit data TX and RC7 means RX. RX means receive data. Okay. So generally this pin number 25 and 26 is used to address the USART serial communication protocol that is asynchronous serial uh, universal serial asynchronous receiver and transmitter when uh, there was serial communication data can be transferred serially bit by bit for each and every devices so for transmission purpose TX this data is high otherwise low and if received data from USART so RX received data at that time this pin is one otherwise low so this provide the features of USART and we discuss USART in detail in last video. <coughs> so these are the port C pin and their features. Now the next one is port D. So uh, port D pin C here that is also 8 bit pin and they also work as a bidirectional pin and every pin work as an input as well as output and port D pin they are having the TRIS D register. So port D pin C here that is RD0, RD1, RD3, 2 up to RD7 right. So each and every pins provide the features of PSP that is PSP0 to PSP1. So what is PSP? PSP means parallel slave port okay means this port D and port E also having this feature parallel slave port okay. So parallel slave port generally uh, these functions are uh, used means for all the each and every task means all the read tasks are performed write tasks are performed you can access the information from your computers from microprocessors or you can write the information through microprocessor or microcontrollers in your system. So for all these tasks parallel slave port pins are used and for that purpose they setting the control bit PSP mode this is a bit this can be bit is built in in microcontroller. So let's first we will learn about PSP mode bit. Okay, now see here, uh, these are the parallel slow port bits. See here, so there are total uh, seven bits are there. So first one is PSP mode. Okay, so PSP mode means parallel slow port mode select bit. When PSP mode is equal to one, means parallel slow port this feature is on. Okay, and when it is zero means port D function is general purpose. They can use all the other functions. Okay, next IBOV that is input buffer overflow detect bit. So when IBOV equal to one at that time you need to perform write operation when previously input word has not been read. Let's take one example when you open Microsoft Word. Okay, when you open Microsoft Word or document file. So at that time before opening a file 
you start writing write operation so at that time overflow bit is generated because you can't read any previous uh, operations or any previous information you you just overflow or you just perform next task on that particular application right so that is input buffer overflow detection bit so when overflow is occur multiple tasks perform at the same time without opening a particular document so at that time it is one otherwise zero means no overflow occurred next obf obf means output buffer full status bit okay so when output buffer uh, is obf is one means output buffer still hold a previously written word right you can write uh, some information and uh, after that you can also append some another information in this right so buffer means storage they store those information <coughs> and uh, obf equal to 0 means output buffer has been just read those information next one is ibf ibf means input buffer full status bit c uh, the cpu cpu can give the processing power to each and every devices right mean it you can perform multiple task at a same time you just write the uh, information into the microsoft word and in background browser is also open and also uh, music system is also open means you can perform multiple task at the same time means cpu provide the uh, processing power to each and every task at the same time and some task also is in waiting state right so input buffer full status bit is equal to 1 means word has been received and waiting to be read by the cpu okay you can open a particular application and is waiting state to cpu provide the power supply or processing power to the particular application right otherwise it is zero means cpu can't access or uh, can't provide the processing power to the particular application no words has been received so all this read write operations or fetching in, in operations are performed by this parallel slow port so these features are provided by the port d and port e see here this is a port e port e having three bit pin that is a uh, pin number 8 9 10 that is re0 re1 and re2 so this three pins also has a bidirectional pin and uh, the corresponding data direction register is tris e every pin work as a input as well as output pin so uh, see here re0 pin uh, re1 and re2 they all, all three pins are also work as a analog pins an5 an6 and an7 these are the analog pins okay now in re0 and re1 see here the rd means read data this feature is provide re1 provide wr means write data okay so see here when rd equal to 0 and cs equal to 0 means master device read data from the slave device or vice versa means slave device read data from the master device okay and other way re1 that is wr when wr equal to 0 and cs equal to 0 means master write data from the slave device or vice versa means slave write data from the master device to the master device so these operations are performed or communication can be happen between the master and slave devices so this thing are handled by this port e and rd0 and write0 means you can't perform read or write at a same time on a same document right so this condition never occur in the system so in this way port e provide this kind of features so in this way uh, i have explained port c d e in detail so i have mentioned the link of some previous videos in also description box you can watch it so keep watching thank you